Hello, my name is Kaylee. Today we will be doing graphing number two, part one about bar graphs. No matter what kind of scientist you are, the first thing you do is ask a question. Scientists can ask two types of questions. The first type of questions are quantitative questions. And quantitative questions have to do with numbers like how many, how much, and what's the majority, and what is the minority. The other type of question scientists can ask are qualitative. And qualitative questions have to do with trends or patterns. Like, did it get bigger? Did it get smaller? Was there improvement? And how did it change? Do you see how these questions can be different? One about numbers and one about patterns. Today, we are going to ask both kinds of questions. First, we will ask a quantitative question, one that has to do with numbers. Like, what color eyes are the majority in our family? Meaning, which eye color is the most popular in our family? Brown, blue, green, or black? Before we ask our question, let's build a table to keep track of our answers. We know what to put under eye color, brown, blue, green, and black. We will make a tally mark for every time we get an answer for one of our colors. This is our data. We will ask everyone in the family what color their eyes are. And their answers will go in our data column, the how many people column. Well, let's get to it. What color are your eyes? We will start to log the answers or data in our table like this. Under our data column, how many people? The more family members we ask, the more data we collect. Let's keep going. Now our table looks good. Lots of data. We have asked everyone in the family, what color are your eyes? And we have filled in a lot of tally marks in our data column. Now it is time to remember that we are asking a quantitative question, a question that is about numbers. And that in the case of our question, we want to know what eye color is the majority or occurs the most in our family. But this table is kind of hard to read. So let's use a graph to make it more clear which eye color is the majority in our family. We can use a graph like this one. It's called a bar graph. A bar graph has an x-axis on the bottom. It's that yellow line down at the bottom of the graph. Do you see where the arrow is pointing? The x-axis tells us the things we are asking about. For us, our x-axis will show the different eye colors we are asking about. Brown, blue, green, or black. A bar graph also has a y-axis on the side of the graph. It's that purple line that you see. See where the purple arrow is pointing? This axis tells us the number of things. For our graph, the y-axis is our data, or the number of people that have each eye color in our family. We can find all of this information from our table. The x-axis is the things we are asking about, the different eye colors. And the y-axis is our numbers, the data we collected about how many people in the family have each eye color. So let's draw our graph. The orange bar is our x-axis with the eye color names, and the purple bar is our y-axis, and it will be the number of people. So let's graph it. 
We draw a bar for each eye color that is as tall as the number of people who have that eye color. On our table, we can see that brown eyes has seven tally marks. See where it's circled? And for the bar of for brown eyes goes up to the number of seven on our graph. See the dotted line? That's seven on our graph. And we can see the same thing for the other eye colors. Blue eyes has four tally marks, and the bar on our graph goes up to the four on the y-axis. Green eyes has three tally marks, and the bar goes up to three on the graph, where that dashed green line is. And black eyes has only two tally marks, and the bar goes up to two on the graph. So now it's really easy to see which eye color is the majority in our family. It'll be the eye color that has the tallest bar on the graph. I can easily see which one is the tallest. Do you see it? So this means that the majority of people in our family have brown eyes. Brown eyes are the most popular. And the same is true for the minority or the least popular eye color in our family. This means the least amount of people have that color. So it's gonna be the shortest bar on the graph. And I can see which one is the shortest. It's the black eye bar. So that means that black eyes are the least popular in our family. Great job. You used a bar graph from data that you collected to answer a quantitative question. Hey, hey.